Hello friends, welcome to Sarvel Gyan. In this video, I am going to teach you how to create a new file in eOffice application. So keep watching. In this video, I am going to teach you how to create a new file in eOffice application. And to do so, you have to open your eOffice account and then click on files. You will get an option of create new. You will have to click on create new. Once you will click on create new, you will get this screen. And this screen consists of two things. These are called the file heads. And this last drop down menu is your file code. The file code is linked with your OU. And once your OUs will be filled by your EMD manager, he will send the list of OUs to the DGPM. And then they will create the respective file codes for your OU. So here you will have to choose your OU. In my case, my OU is EDI hyphen Office of Commissioner hyphen Cus hyphen Luthiana. So it is here. And these are four heads. The heads of the files consist of four types of head. The first one is the basic head. The second one is the primary head. The third one is the secondary head. And the fourth one is the tertiary head. Now the file heads don't depend on a branch. It depends on the category of a file. For example, if you want to open a file related to PQ, beat any branch, you have to select PQ here, and then you can choose a primary head, secondary head, and tertiary head. In this case, PQ is not having any primary, secondary, or tertiary head. So I will choose something which has it. So here we will select eOffice. And in the primary head, you will get three kinds of heads, implementation, correspondence, and training. So I'll click on correspondence. There is a scandy head also. I will select miscellaneous. And here also I will select miscellaneous. So I have selected all these heads. You can also select just the basic head. For example, if you want to create a file of eOffice, you can just select the eOffice and the basic head. And then you don't need to select any other head. And here a random number will be generated. So you can't fill in here. If there is any detail which you want to fill, you can add it to the description. For example, if you are creating a show course notice and it is of commissioner competency, you can select show course notice above and then in the subject, you can write show course notice in respect of this party and then you can select is of commissioner competency. So in description, we'll write the subject of the file, which is eOffice implementation. And then you have to choose the category also. So let's choose the category. Here we will also look for eOffice. So there is no category called eOffice. So let's make it miscellaneous. And then in subcategory we will choose one. Then we can select the language. And in the mark we can add certain remarks. For example, as I was telling you, if it is of commissioner competency and it is a show course notice, then you can write commissioner competency here. And you can add the previous references and the later references here. For example, if you have a physical file and you have migrated it to eOffice, but now you are want to create a new file on the same subject, you can write the reference of previous file number here. And then you have to click on continue working. Once you click on continue working, you will get this dialog. It says that file number will be generated. Number generated will be final and cannot be edited. Do you wish to proceed? So if you have filled all these details correctly, you can click on OK. So once I click on OK, a new file has been generated. So if you look here, the file has been generated. My basic head is eOffice. My primary head is 1024. My secondary head is 100. My tertiary head is also 100. And this 75 is the running number. 2020 is the current year, then it is followed by the file code of my OU. It also generates a computer number called 2786. And now I can work on this file. Uh, I can add a green note, I can add correspondence to it. And if you for some reason you just created the file and then you back move back to some other portion. Now if you will go to file, file you just created won't be the part of your inbox. It would be in created completed. So if you click on completed. So this is the file which we created. You can click on it. 
and then if you will add a green note right created new file and then you will you can send it to someone And here I am sending it to myself and send. Once you will send the newly created file, then it will become the part of the inbox of the officer to whom you have sent it. In this case, I have sent it to myself. So now that file has become the part of my inbox. So this is how you can create a new file in your eOffice application. This is it for this video. If you have liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues who might find it useful. And if you want to be notified about my future videos, just subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notification. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.